what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a tutorial about a quest that has optional objectives. Now, I'm going to do this through the context of having to kill an NPC. So what you'll do is you'll be tasked with killing one NPC, but you'll get an optional objective to kill a second NPC. And now, though it's going to be very similar to my last tutorial where I did a quest to kill an NPC, the purpose is to demonstrate how objectives can be independent of any particular stage. They can be set or you know, they can be set displayed or completed at any point. So I'm going to create a bunch of NPCs. So I'll first I'll create um just call this one tutorial NPC. Call him NPC and leave him as a Caucasian male. Right click new. Call this um tutorial target one. I'm going to call it give its name target one. And I'll make this one um Caucasian old aged, just so that it is visually different to the other one. Then I'm going to call this one tutorial target um, two. I'll use the number two, and then I'll call it NPC target two. And this one I'll make a Caucasian raider, just to be visually distinctive for each other. Now we'll create a quest. Quest name, tutorial quest. Oh, why did I capitalize that O? And the ID, uh, I'll just call it tutorial quest priority 55 start game enabled. Okay, so now I'm going to place my NPCs in the wasteland because I'll, you know, be demonstrating it afterwards as well, like I usually do. Let's wait for this to load. It could take a while, there you go. And I'll put them in Springvale for the purpose of this example. Let's wait for that error message to pop up that you should press yes to all for. And I'll just filter for tutorial. So let's place the tutorial NPC here in the world. Just hit F and I'll just drop straight to the floor. Then get a place. Tutorial target one. And tutorial target two, like this. So there they are in the world. So now we're going to want to go to quest. And this is a bit that's very similar to last time. So let me think what stages we're going to have the stage to kill the NPC, return, and complete. Um, so it'll be the classic three stage quest, like this 10. Set objective displayed tutorial quest 10 at 1. Compile result, and that's good. And I'm going to do 20. Now I'm going to put set objective completed tutorial quest 10 at 1. Set objective displayed tutorial quest 20. One. Oh, what have I done? Oh, I've written, I've spelled quest wrong. There, there we go. That's fine. Now I'll just make a third stage for stage thirty, and we're gonna put set objective completed tutorial quest twenty one. Compile result and complete quest, and we'll reward the player with some XP. Now we're going to do the objectives. So I want to define an objective for stage 10, which we've mentioned earlier. We've referenced that in an earlier script. So kill the elderly NPC, because that's the uh, one that I'm going to have as the main target. But now I'm going to do a new thing, and I'm going to create an index for objective 15. Now this is going to be the optional objective. The fact that it's a, a ten and a five doesn't actually make a difference as long as you you know you can have stages of whatever increments you can. But it's just how I like to do it to keep it organised. Optional. Kill the raider NPC, and that's gonna be the dirty faced raider that I created a bit before. So this is gonna come into play a little bit later. 
So now I'm going to create the twen objective 20, which I mentioned in an earlier script, which will be return to the NPC. Like that. Boom. So now that's all set up. I will create some topics. So now I'm going to go greeting. Hello, I like you to kill someone. And now we're going to keep get his ID and look for the tutorial NPC. Now this is the one that's going to be giving the quest to member, so tutorial NPC equals one. And get oh what have I done? Get stage tutorial quest has to be below uh, ten. No. Then we'll do another one. Go and kill him. And we're going to make sure this is going to be set as a goodbye so that this will be the out of conversation one. Copy all conditions. Paste. And we're just going to change this to equals 10. And I'm going to create another one that just is exactly the same thing. Go and kill him paste conditions and change it to equals 20. So now I'm just going to hit OK because I've just remembered something I forgot to do. I didn't make a voice type for the NPC. And this is just to stop him saying the default dialogue um, and if you want to record a voice he will need his own unique voice type. I'm not going to bother with voice types for the other characters. They'll just have... Um, they will just say the default dialogue lines. It doesn't really matter for them because they're going to die anyway. So now we're going to go back to the quest, and I'm going to create a, new, a whole new topic now. So I'm going to right-click in here, new tutorial kill topic. So this is where he's going to give you the uh, quest. I'd like you to kill an old man. If you feel like it, kill. The Raider 2. I'm just going to paste these conditions. And for this, I'm just going to delete this because for this to show up, we're going to do the get dead thing that we did last time. Get dead. Select a particular reference. So I'm going to select and select reference in vendor window. Select the old man. Okay. Has to equal zero. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to look for get dead. Select a particular reference, select, select in render window, the radar also has to equal zero. So neither of them can be dead for that. So I'll just put, I'll do it. And this will be a goodbye, so just kick the player out of conversation at this point. So I'm going to put set, stage, um, tutorial, quest, uh, 10. So I'll think... I think what I'll do actually, no, just to demonstrate something, you could put this in the, sta in the stage 10 if you wanted, but I'm going to put it here just to demonstrate how objectives can be separate from stages, so put set, objective, displayed, tutorial, quest, 15, oop, not 50, um, 15, 1, like that. So now I'm going to put stages for what happens if you've already killed them. Okay, I'm going to put what I always do. That was lucky. Have some money. Um, let's grab all these conditions. So we'll copy all conditions. Paste condition. So now we're going to look for um, not target 2. Target 1, dead, has to equal 1. So now if you've killed the main NPC but not the optional NPC, you'll be able to say this. Set stage tutorial quest 30. Like that. And you know what? Let's just to save me writing it every single time. Player dot add item cap 001 200. Just so don't have to write it in every single dialogue topic. It will just be rewarded along with the quest stage. So that's all fine. That's all fine. So now I'm going to put that was really lucky. Have some money. And I'm going to put, I've already killed both of them. 
paste conditions and set them both to 1. Like that, so now they're both dead. Oh, and there's one other thing. I should probably have put the get stage in there as well. Get stage tutorial quest has to be below 10. Copy that condition, then just paste it in. Paste it in, now I'm just going to copy all conditions again. Now I'm going to say, um, wait, hold on. This doesn't have a prompt. Do, we, do these both have prompts? I've already killed both of them. I've already killed them. Now your player is demonstrating some weird premonitions, but it's not really the end of the world. Just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going into massive depth in the dialogue. Response text. Um, uh, thank you. Have some money. Okay. So now this is if you've if you've then killed the old man, and so we're gonna put it to equals twenty. I killed the old man, and these are these both say these all say one now because I copied the condition from somewhere else. So I'm just gonna find the one for the optional character, which is this, and say no. So what I will do now is. Uh, set stage. Set stage. Tutorial quest thirty. Compile I forgot to set the stage in here. Um, so thirty, and let's give the player a little bit extra money because he killed. He did the optional one. So let's put player dot add item caps zero zero one at one hundred. So you'll get two hundred when you complete the quest, but he'll add. He'll throw in an extra one hundred because you did the extra thing. So now we're going to do it for if you've killed both of them. Thanks very much. Have some money. Paste the conditions. Leave everything as it is. And we're going to set that to equals 20. So now we're going to just set stage tutorial quest 30 and give a player a little bit extra money. Like that. Let's just check all our greetings. Uh, we'll add one final greeting. Thanks for the help. Which will be, I'm just going to paste the conditions and then delete everything except get stage. He says he immediately deleted get stage. So let's just look for get stage. Tutorial quest has to equal 30 for this to come up. And it's a goodbye topic because this is just when you've completed the quest and it's just kicks you straight out of conversation. So let's go up to the first section now and we're going to add our topic. Of greeting. Where is it? Why am I trying to add greeting? I want to add tutorial kill topic. Like that. So now we're going to want to write the scripts that will set the relevant stages. So I'm going to write a script first for target one. New. SCN tutorial target one script. Begin on def. We're going to put if get stage tutorial quest uh, is equal to 10. Set stage tutorial quest 20. And if end. So, what this will do is it'll just make sure that the quest isn't given to the player. If you kill him before the quest has started, it won't set stage 20 and add the quest until you return to the NPC. It will just, he'll just be dead, but you will be able to claim a reward because of the conditions I set up in the dialogue. Save that quest, close. We're going to write a new script now for the other guy. SCN tutorial target 2 script. So now again, begin on def. Um, if get stage tutorial quest. Uh, is greater than or equal to 10. So that will allow it to be 20 as well. Um, let's do this as well. Um, and get stage tutorial quest is below 30. 
Uh, that probably, I'm just going to do that just to make certain that it doesn't do something, but for the quest stage it shouldn't be rewarded if they're complete, but it will just keep it down anyway. Set objective completed tutorial quest 15 1. And if end. So now if the stage is greater than or equal to 10 and less than 30, so i.e. if it's 10 or 20, which will allow you to kill him first, then kill him. The objective 15, which we defined earlier, will be complete. So now we're going to go back to the NPCs and target 1. We're going to put tutorial target 1 script onto him. And for target 2, we're going to put tutorial target 2 script into him, and I'm just going to save my plugin. Tutorial quest already exists. I'm going to call it, I didn't delete my old ESP, obviously. Tutorial quest 2. Uh, there we go, so that's all saved. Now I think, I think that should be it. So I'm going to go in game and we'll play through it and have a little look. Alright, here I am in the game with my two fellas. Hello, I'd like you to kill someone. I'll do it. I'd like you to kill the old man if you feel like it. Kill the Raider too. Go and kill him. Quest added tutorial quest. Optional, kill the Raider NPC. Kill the elderly NPC. So let's kill him. Whoa! Better him than me. Completed, optional, kill the Raider NPC. People aren't desperately happy with the fact that I did that, but running around like, like lunatics. And I realised that I forgot to uh, add quest markers. Right, he's dead. Good now, riddance. wow, people really, really aren't happy with that. Go and kill him. Oh, didn't add text. Thanks very much, have some money. I got 200 bottle caps and I got 100. So it did work, I just didn't put the uh, flipping dialogue in. So let's relive a quick save. And let's just kill the elderly NPC. Hello, I'd like to kill someone. I'll do it. I'd like to kill the old man if you feel like a kill Vader too. Better him than me. So he's dead. My optional is still available and returned to the NPC. Where's he gone? So this is why quest markers are needed because people are absolutely going mental. Go and kill him. I killed the old man. Thank you, have some money. And the quest was completed. So now we will quick load again. Whoops. And now we're just gonna kill them. None of my business. Good riddance. Hello, I'd like you to kill someone. I've already killed both of them. Wow, that was really lucky. Have some money. 200 bottle caps. And the 100 bottle caps have been added. Now if we reload the quick save. Murder that man. Good riddance. me. Hello, I'd like to kill someone. I've already killed him. If I was lucky, have some money. So all I forgot to do was I didn't add quest markers onto the people, but that's no different from adding quest markers to anything else. The quest marker will go away when they're dead uh, because quest markers are linked to objectives, not stages, so it, that doesn't really matter. And, uh, oh god, and uh, all I didn't do, I just didn't add the text that said um, I killed both of them, just forgot to put that in the prompt. So that hasn't had any effect on the quest. Um, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.